Hello everyone! Welcome to the next Lego Fun video. In this video we've got the Dragon Hunter Poly Bag, Jay's Mech Battle Pack, and Lloyd's Elemental Power Mech. Uh, to start off with the Dragon Hunter Poly Bag, this is the only one from Season 9 that I acquired. I do not remember if there was any more for Season 9. And I also don't know the name of this guy, but I'll try to look it up in my free time. But the poly bag doesn't just come with this minifigure. It also comes with this brick built dragon. It's got a poseable head, poseable tail, and poseable legs. And it's technically meant for Zane. However, due to the limits of bricks, any Zane minifigure or any minifigure in your collection will have to ride standing up. Putting that off to the side, we've got Jay's Mech Battle Pack, which comes with Mech Suit Jay and Master Lloyd, along with two wolf warriors. One with the claws and the shoulder armor, and the other with a hood and a crossbow. As for Jay's mech, it's just standard posing that you would get on one of the larger scaled mechs. Like this one here in the back, which we will get to right now. I'm not going to show the combination for Lloyd's Elemental Power Mech with the three I've got here on the back. But all of the posability is just virtually the same as... the three elemental mechs back here. Uh, you can't see Cole's because his is way off camera, but he is right next to Sora's. But getting back to the posability, it's just simple arm movement and leg movement with the additional posability for the head area. And yeah, you can switch out the swords if you want to, but that's just about it. Other than the fact that this set was designed specifically as a cheaper way to get Mech Suit Lloyd, Mech Suit Nia, and Cinder and it will retail for $20. That's all for this video. Stay tuned for the final part, and next time we will make the combinations for this thing happen. See ya!